is Nick Wilson, uh, Managing Director of Programme Express, just giving a short video demonstration for Premier Foods using one of our demo systems, Demo 14, uh, but all our clients have their own URLs and databases, so yours will be premierfoods.programexpress.co.uk. So we can log in from the home from the login page to Program Express as an administrator, a right access user, or a read-only user. I'm going to log on as an administrator, which means we can see and do everything, and it takes us into our home page and most things that we can do from this uh, home page. So you'll see here on the left hand side, we've got a structure of portfolio programs and projects. This is purely a demo structure and you start off with a master project and you start to develop and configure your own portfolios, programs and projects down to any level that you wish. Now from this screen, an administrator can view all the projects um, it's designed to be a sort of project website which is easily accessible and easy to navigate and view the status of projects. So from this screen we can look at the red, amber, green status and health of the project broken down by the modules, better shown here through the updates tab and showing all the different modules that we have, but you don't have to take or use all of these and in fact you can filter a lot out uh, for some of the users that don't specifically require it. So you can even um, go into uh, the data entry for specific projects from this screen. So if I click on uh, commentary, this is, you can see all the different commentaries that have been made on this screen. And this is where you would update and make new comments. Well, back to the home screen. What you really want to do is to start to run reports once you know that all the data has been populated and there are many admin reports to make sure that the status data is up to date. But assuming everybody updates their projects, what we can do is we can go and run a project report and have a look using what we call a one page summary, which sits nicely in a PowerPoint slide. And we can see here the project, the timeline, the reg status, and some of the narrative in terms of uh, the project status. But more importantly, you can aggregate and consolidate up to program and portfolio level. So you can take all of the projects that have been updated and run what we call a reg status summary report, as an example. This replaces the need for Excel and consolidating people's project reports into a summary. And you'll see here that we've got all the projects and we've got summary level information in this case commentary bit of red, red amber green status bit of planning information who owns uh, the specific project much functionality from this screen for the administrator the administrator can make many configuration changes and that will be part of the job of the implementation but this doesn't take more than um, maybe two two to three hours to do that the idea of program express is simple data input powerful program and portfolio reporting output. In terms of simple data input, uh, we would configure users to see and view only what they needed to update. So as an example, if I were to log in as myself and Wilson, I'm configured as a project manager. I'm going to log into the same home screen. And you'll see here that now I've got a filtered view of just the projects that I have right access to that I'm expected to update and just the modules I'm expected to update. In this case, commentary, plan, costs and logs, which can be issues, actions, decisions um, or whatever you want to configure. So the project manager experience would be click on the commentary, make that commentary updates in terms of overall achieve last period, focus for next period. Again, these are configurable, these commentary threads move through to the plan, have a look at the plan, see if any anything needs adding, any dates need changing. You'll see here that we have sort of like original baseline dates and current forecast, which drives our red, amber, green status, i.e. here, this is an unhealthy plan. We can update our budget with um, our cost items, our plan budget broken down by revenue and capital, and the latest forecast and any different types of variances. And then update our logs, 
which are in this case issues, actions, decisions, lessons learnt, uh, but you can configure any logs and therefore report log items like high level issues, uh, program and portfolio level. Once the project manager has made that very swift update and everybody does the same, they may have set up and configure their own report, a one page overview as an example. So here will be specifically for this project and what we can see is more detail, the commentary, the plan. We'll see here that the plan shows the health in our task bars. Red means it's missed a date, amber means it's forecasting to miss, risks, actions, issues, decisions. Okay, so the project manager can have a look and view at their data updates and how the report looks. Back to being an administrator. And again, we can go in and we can have a look at the projects. We can run reports um, to have a look at the health of the data to make sure that everybody's logged on and made their updates. Um, we can even, from that structure, we can develop a new portfolio. So we can develop many portfolios where we can wire in certain report, certain projects and all the reports will be available to run against the projects that have been wired in here. So other examples of reports, we've shown the rank status report, let's show the Gantt chart. So I'm running at portfolio level, which means that, that will show every single plan for every single project. But as you'll see, very simple to start to produce the planning information within here in Gantt chart style. Or we may want to run a milestone summary, same data, different view. This is more of a timeline view in terms of the key milestones and again the health using red, amber, green status of all the specific projects, the key milestones. If we want to use uh, resourcing, we can use the resource usage summary and this will show us again Excel style report. We're replacing the need for Excel all the different resources, what they're working on, and any type of over allocation in terms of the um, projects that these people are working on. So very simple to use in terms of resource forecasting. That just gives you a very um, short view. Obviously, this could be a one hour webinar, but it's really just to uh, whet the appetite and just show you in general that um, it's, a, it's a solution that can be configured quickly. It can be um, easily trained in. Um, probably within one month, you could be producing um, business reports, having a uh, load of the, uh, the latest project data. So that concludes the uh, webinar. Uh, thank you for watching.